Welcome to the Toburn Gold Mine, the first of seven gold mines along Kirkland Lake's famous Mile of Gold. Between 1913 and 1953, the Toburn produced over 600,000 ounces of gold, which is equal to the weight of about three elephants. Today, that amount of gold is worth an estimated one billion Canadian dollars. In 1911, Harry Oakes and the Tuff brothers, George, Tom, Bob, and Jack Tuff, arrived in Swastika by the way of the Temiskaming and Northern Ontario Railway. The men all prospected to the east of the village, hoping to discover gold. They soon got to know each other and worked together every now and then. Their greatest partnership, however, was yet to come. Just before midnight, on January 28, 1912, George and Tom requested Oak's aid. The two Tufts were determined to be the first to stake the ground north of Gull Lake, which was reopening at midnight due to inactivity by the owners. This ground was also located near the Wright Hargraves property, where the first gold discovery in Kirkland Lake had been made. The trio traveled six miles on snowshoes in a temperature of 56 below zero and arrived at the ground at three o'clock in the morning. The men staked five claims in total, three in Harry's name and two in Tom's. Once the claims were recorded, a tent was put up and prospecting began immediately on the newly titled Tough Oaks property. That winter, enough high-grade ore was mined from the surface to finance development of the property. This development took the form of the number one shaft, a 60 degree incline shaft that was sunk to the north of the railway tracks and production started at a rate of 200,000 pounds of ore per day. In 1923, the neighboring Burnside claims were acquired by the mine and its name was changed to Tough Oaks Burnside Gold Mines Limited. Production continued intermittently until 1931. To continue development, the number three shaft was sunk at the corner of Burnside Drive and Government Road, and production increased to 800,000 pounds of ore per day and continued at that rate until the mine closed in 1953. The number three shaft went down to the 1100 foot level, where a cross cut to the south led to the winds, an underground shaft which had its own hoist that went down to the 2200 foot level. This shaft originally had a wooden head frame that was replaced by the present steel structure in 1931 when the company was reorganized. A new compressor was also installed in 1931, as well as an aerial bucket line that carried the ore from the shaft to the mill, which was located about 400 meters north of the shaft. In May 1932, Toburn Gold Mines Limited, a subsidiary of Premier Gold Mining Company Limited, attained the rights to the mine, which would operate under the Toburn name for the next 20 years. The miners were a hardy bunch, working in conditions that were not up to today's health and safety standards, but they were proud of their work, as is reflected in their expressions in the group photos. The men worked hard, but they also played hard. The Kirkland Lake Mines had baseball, hockey, and soccer teams that competed against each other and teams from other towns. In 1940, the Lakeshore Blue Devils won the Allen Cup, the precursor to the Stanley Cup. Today, the Toburn Operating Authority, a small group of dedicated volunteers, operates the Toburn site as a historical landmark and community park with a mandate to educate the public about mining and the rich history of Kirkland Lake. The success of the mine was not without sacrifice. Many suffered as a result of accidents and working conditions, and others made the ultimate sacrifice with their lives. It's for them that we honor the history of the mine, so that their hard work and contributions to the development of Kirkland Lake will never be forgotten. Enjoy your visit.